Hi everyone, I've come up with an exciting project today. It's my smart irrigation system. And the purpose of this project is to water your plant automatically uh, whenever you forget to or if you won't be able to water your plant in time. So it will basically uh, look out for the moisture level in your plant soil. And once it falls below a certain threshold that you set for your individual plant, it will water the plant automatically using the water pump there from the water tank. And the additional feature that I've added to this system is it will send you a message to your phone uh, regarding all the informa important information and letting you know that your plant's been watered. Now I'm just going to quickly run through all the components now. Starting off with my SIM 800L V2. This will be the module that will send the messages to your phone. and I've set the power supply leads close to the GSM module to reduce the voltage drop across the distance and make sure it gets the full 5 volts and operate at the maximum because it is very voltage specific. And next we've got the DHT11 sensor here uh, which is the temperature and humidity uh, sensor. It will send this temperature and humidity data to your Arduino and that's what will let you know if the temperature and humidity conditions are ideal for your individual plant. If not, then you'll have to change it to a different location where the conditions are more ideal for your individual plant, which depends on the species of plant and, and like all the different stuff. Here I've got a passive buzzer. It'll simply just uh, in, give you an audible output to let you know that your plant's been wa watered and to just uh, make the system startup noises and everything. I've got the ST7789 um, LCD display. It'll simply just display all the useful information and let you know what the ac what actions are being taking place. And here I've got a potentiometer. It's to control the um, threshold uh, moisture level for your own individual plant. plant. Where this side is be zero and the other side is hundred percent. If you turn it to the other the other side, I've just set it to zero now. Um, here I've got the relay module, and it'll just simply switch the pump on when it gets a high signal from the Arduino. And I've got the uh, water pump connected to a terminal block here to prevent the wi wires from moving out of place. And I've got two point one microfarad capacitors here to reduce the uh, noise from the power noise from the pump. And I've got a four seventy mi microfarad capacitor here in the power supply row to avoid any voltage spikes from the pump when it turns on turns on and off. And one important thing I want to say about the GSM module is that you need to have like a sim which has the widest coverage in your area or in your country to make sure it gets the signal really quick or else if you're using any other type of broadband which the signal coverage is less or if it's not or if it's not that ideal in your location then it will take forever to register onto the system and it won't it might not even register register sometimes so that's that that's the important thing i want to say about the gsm module itself and now finally we've got the arduino uno there which is the entire brains of this whole project and the code that I've written and uploaded is already on there and that will execute the program to all the different components and modules that I've hooked up. Now here I've got the water level sensor. It will simply just uh, show the shows the level of water in the water tank at a certain height and now and here we got the water pump that I just talked about which is in the water. Now I'm going to be showing two demos here and the capacitive soil moisture sensor will basically just send the soil moisture data to the Arduino itself. Now I'll be running two demos here. The first one will be where the water level sensor is submerged in water and, and in the second one I'll slightly lift it above the water to let you know to show you the code will execute um, if the water level is below 40%. So I'm just going to turn on my DC power supply here. 
it's on. And the screen and the system starting up. Now if we look at the JSM module here, the power light is stable, which means it's the power signal is getting is good. And here a second ago the light was flashing every one second, which means it was searching for a network. And now it's flashing every three seconds, which means it's already registered itself onto a network. And that's because I'm using a SIM card called E. And it has the widest coverage in my area, uh, which will let it register itself onto the network quicker. And that's all set up. And here on the screen, we can see all the useful information that we need. The soil moisture levels at 39%. And this is the data that's being sent back from the capacitive of soil moisture sensor already in the plant soil. It'll give us the GSM status. It'll show the pump state is turned off, which it is. The temperature and humidity data will be displayed here. And we can see the water level there, which is 75%-ish, roughly. And we got the set moisture level, which is 0%, because I got turned my potentiometers completely to 0. I've disconnected the relay, so when I turn up the potentiometer above the threshold for this demo, uh, the pump will instantly start watering it, and I won't be able to slowly walk through all the data that's being shown on here. So I'm just gonna quickly turn on the potentiometer, turn up the potentiometer level. There you go. I've turned it up to 41 percent. The buzz is trying to sound now. And here we can see that the pump stay is turned on. So that those changes that will happen if well, once the pump is turned on. Now I'm just going to simply plug the relay into the positive now. There you go, the pump's watering it. And there you go, it turns off. Now we can say it's a said sending message and the message is sent. And I should be getting a message to my phone now. There you go, it's come up. Now let me just open up the message here. There you go, that's the message that I just got now. It'll simply just say that your plant's been watered and all the useful information that you need to know about it. And the soil moisture level is at 92% when the pump just got turned off. And the temperature, level, temperature and humidity data here on the container water level, which has fallen down to 67% once the uh, pump has been turned off and watered the plant. And here we can see that the soil moisture level is now at 85% and well above the threshold of the set moisture level, which will turn off and which is the reason why the pump is in the off state right at the moment. So now I'm just going to slightly lift the Soil moisture level sensor. I'm gonna wipe it clean. Now I'm just gonna dip it in water slightly to show you not to show you what will happen. So I'm just gonna turn off my power supply and restart everything. I'm just gonna lightly dip it in, and if you look at the screen here. It'll basically say everything else before but this time it knows that the wall level is below 40 percent and it'll send a message to your phone whilst it's signing up to let you know that you need to fill the wall level a bit higher there you go so once again i'm just going to turn up the potential value up a bit to show you what's different this time. There you go. Turn on. And the pump quickly just turned off because it's a small gap value. Oopsie baby. And this is the reason why your pump should or completely be submerged under water. If you look at here, the pipe has air bubbles trapped inside it. And it's trying to suck up more water. And if you look at my power supply here, it's nearly drawing around 400 milliamps. 
because the pump is in submerged in water and it'll try and draw more current to push the water in the pipe which will cause its life condition to be decreased by a lot. So I'm just gonna quickly turn down the threshold to turn off the pump. It's 70% as you can see it turned off. I'll dip it slightly in... There you go. It detected once again that the pump's water level is below 40% once the plant's been watered. And it'll check for that certain conditional uh, while starting up and while it, uh, um, after, it's, after the, your plant's been watered. To let you know uh, how the water level is changing and if you need to refill your water container. Where in this case you need to. And if you look at the pipe over here, there's a lot of air bubbles. That isn't good for the pump. So you need to keep it completely submerged under water. Now we'll look at the messages which have been sent to me now. These are new ones. Yeah. And this is the one that came up in the startup. It will basically say that the water level is below 40% and you need to refill the container as quick as possible. And then we've got the normal text message that we get once the plant has been watered and then this is the message that we got when it'll say that the um, uh, the conditional checked for after the uh, plant's been watered and the water level is below 40% again so it'll send you that message once more because once it's watered your plant it could have fallen below the threshold uh, the water level could have fallen below 40% so it'll send you an alert again. So yeah. So that's that. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll leave the schematic in the description below. And I'll also leave the source code that I've made in the description as well. So that you guys can check it out and try this project out for yourself. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Please do leave a like on my channel. And please do subscribe. Thank you.